New tonight, the teenager who was charged in the deadly crash that took the life of a mother and three children in Renton pleaded not guilty today. 18-year-old Chase Jones made that plea from his hospital bed, still recovering from the injuries he suffered in the crash last month. He also faced the families of the three children killed, just 12 and 13 years old. Como's Michelle Esteban has new video tonight of that high-speed crash, revealing just how fast it all happened. Michelle, prosecutors described it as incredibly violent. They did indeed. He's accused of going well over 100 miles per hour, running a red light and never hitting the brakes. You can see for yourself, it happened in an instant. It is the moment that has changed families forever. It's what prosecutors allege 112 miles per hour looks like. It's so fast you barely see Chase Jones's vehicle come from the right side of your screen and plow right into a van full of children. Four dead, including three children. Mr. Jones, you have been charged in count one. The 18 year old accused appeared by video conference from his hospital bed, reacting to the charges and the parents of the three children killed. I'm a little concerned and shocked that there has been no, to my knowledge, no attempt to reach out to us or the Browns or Hudsons with any kind of message of, of, <laughs> Last week, we told you the teen has been linked to other crashes. The deputy prosecutor told the judge Jones totaled three cars in 11 months. There is evidence that this defendant has been driving at an excessive speed and totaled two vehicles before this collision. The first crash last May in Kent on police body cam, Jones admitted to speeding after broadsiding a car and crashing into a fence. And now this new police body cam video from January. You hear Jones admit to police he rear-ended a car and the driver questioned Jones's speed. Too you fast. didn't see him? I didn't, too fast. I see that, I see that, but too fast. Jones's attorney told the court he's not stealing cars, having a gun, or intentionally trying to commit a violent crime. This is an allegation in which my client may have made a dumb mistake in driving um, uh, up above the speed limit. That's the allegation. Um, I don't think that this was just a dumb mistake. He pleaded not guilty to seven counts, including four counts of vehicular homicide. Bail was reduced to $100,000, and he is not permitted to drive. The parents of the victims told the judge they don't hate him, but they want accountability. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Esteban. Back to you. Michelle, thank you. The husband of Amanda Hudson, the adult driver who was killed, was missing from today's hearing. The prosecuting attorney says he couldn't attend because he is with his two children, quote, whose lives have changed forever. They were the two surviving children in the accident. Both were transported in critical condition to Harborview Medical Center. We checked this afternoon with the hospital and were told that both children are now in satisfactory condition. That brings us to tonight's Como Pulse Poll. Preston Phillips is tracking the results for us from the live desk. Preston. Yeah, we're getting a lot of hits on this on ComoNews.com. At 4 o'clock, we had about 1,700 votes. Now we have about 2,400. So we've had about 700 votes in just the last hour. So we want to keep the votes coming in so we can keep tallying them throughout the evening here. But to vote right now just scan the QR code here on your screen that's going to take you right to comonews.com where you can cast your vote so here's the question we're asking should there be harsher penalties for people who are found guilty of reckless driving right now the numbers really haven't changed much just the votes have gone up 87 percent say yes one percent say no 12 percent say situational we're always committed to being your voice on the issues that matter most our local Como Pulse poll it's a great way for you to speak out and have your voice heard